Hey guys, at you with another uh, trailer reaction video. Uh, the new trailer for Tenet, the new Christopher Nolan film, just dropped uh, a couple days ago. I just haven't had time to get to it. Uh, I have not watched it yet. I'm super excited to check it out. So we're just going to get into it, into it right away. We'll talk about it after, okay? All I have for you is a word. Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Use it carefully. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. I forgot if Hans Zimmer's doing this. As I understand this. it, we're trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm getting here. No. Something worse. Oh. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Of course, Michael Caine's in it. Why don't you bring me in? He's our new Batman. You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel. No. Inversion. Name it and pull the trigger. Version. You're not shooting the bullet, you're catching it. Whoa. Yeah, well, well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. <laughs> Your duty transcends national interests. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine, but I thought you were going to say nuts. Where our worlds collide. How would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. Can't get over that scene. It's so cool. Well, that from here. Hasn't happened yet. There are people in the future who need us. I need a tenant. We need to save them here and now. This reversing the flow of time. Mm. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happened. You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. No, it's so dramatic. <laughs> well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic. Air Force One. Coming to theaters. Okay, so they intend on it still going to theaters, I guess. I think July was the original release date, so I... I don't know how they're planning on doing that. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Um, no, that was really cool. Um, obviously, I've seen this first trailer. And then uh, that small shot you get where they are in like a, some kind of performance, like an opera house or something like that. Um, they screened like five or six minutes of that scene in front of the last Star Wars movie, if I was correct. If I'm correct. And I did watch that, and that was really cool. Um, so... You know, initially up front, uh, with, with what we knew prior to this trailer, we thought it was time travel, right? And I think in this trailer she said, or they said, it's, it's not it's not time travel, it's inversion or conversion. I, I didn't catch that at the time. Um, so with Christopher Nolan films, obviously he throws in a lot of twists. There's always a twist in every single one of his movies. So I don't think that he would be as obvious as as throwing time travel in in to be the, the kind of the main theme. Um, there's got to be something else to it. Maybe there's some kind of science to it. Um, and I know that Christopher Nolan isn't too fond of actual like magic. Like even if you watch The Prestige, that is a show about magicians, it's, it's not magic. It's all about science. Um, so I, I can't imagine that there would be much supernatural going on in this. There has to be, if I know Christopher Nolan, there has to be some type of scientific or logical explanation um, as to how they're able to do this 
inversion or conversion or tenant or whatever they're calling it. They're keeping it a mystery, which is great. I I want to I want to walk into this not knowing uh, what's going on. Um, it's funny. It's funny they show the director of the Dark Knight trilogy, and then Robert Pattinson's right after that. See, he, since he's the new Batman, so, so there's some good marketing. Um, you know, it's a really, it's nice. I, I like Christopher Nolan films because it's that kind of like sci-fi, you know, it's the sci-fi stuff that we get, but it's, it's, it's not superhero movies. It's something kind of new, something kind of different that isn't a superhero movie or a big monster movie or something like that. So it's a nice little break. Um, and if you watched every, you know, any Christopher Nolan movie, you know that the guy is brilliant. So, um, I'm, I'm super excited for this. The trailer is great. There wasn't a lot of new stuff in this trailer, which I'm completely okay with. I don't want to be spoiled of, of what's going to happen in the film. There was a lot of the same scenes and things that came from the first trailer, and it seems they were just kind of expanded slightly. So, um, you know, if there's a, a big twist or big moments in the movie, I, I, I would put my money on it that they did not release that yet. They didn't show that. And I'm totally cool with that. I totally support that. So, um, John David Washington, which I believe is his name, I, I honestly don't know a lot about him. Um, Robert Pattinson has been doing a lot of like indie films lately and um, just killing it in that scene. Of course, Michael Caine is um, in this one as well. Again, if you know Christopher Nolan, you know that he likes to uh, reuse actors. He likes to have the same actors kind of uh, come back into his movies. Um, but Michael Caine is great, so why not, right? Um, there was a part of the movie that I wanted to re or part of the trailer I wanted to replay. Sorry, I'm kind of sifting through it. Okay, so that's what he says. We're reversing the flow of time, he says. Doesn't us being it here now mean that it never happened? So it's kind of interesting because I think that, like, the general public bases their knowledge of time travel and manipulating time off of like back to the future, right? If you go back in the past, you change something, it changes the future. And then you watch a movie like Avengers Endgame that came out a little a year ago, they say that it's not what happened. And so it's tricky though. If Christopher Nolan is not doing true time travel, then I guess this doesn't really matter but the fact that his character just said that means that it could be something like that so it's interesting because a lot of time travel films like if you look at avengers if you look at uh back to the future it's about little things causing large consequences but i'm thinking they're going to, going to go in a different direction this is going to be the opposite kind of bigger moves cause cause smaller consequences because there's little things like the the like the, that gunfight they saw the, the bullet holes in the glass and they said it hadn't happened yet and the things like the car flipping i think it's just it's just it's not time travel like we're changing the future it's time travel where it we're using it just at the moment to to save ourselves or to prevent people from getting hurt um which I, I don't think that we've actually seen before on film. Um, so I think that'll be super, super cool. I'm super excited for it. Um, huge fan of Christopher Nolan, the Dark Knight movies, Prestige, Inception, and Stellar, Interstellar, if I can speak. Um, super, super, super excited for it. Um, it kind of does seem like Christopher Nolan's kind of touching little, like, you know, he did magic here and then he did space here and now he's doing time here so it kind of like seems like he wants to kind of touch different aspects of like science fiction and such like that um the part in the beginning where he takes the glove and there's all those like metal pieces and then it, and then it like he sucked that piece up into his hand i don't know if that is um something that's put in the trailer because trailers are made to be deceptive right they're made to us uh, to be misled from what the actual plot of the film is I don't know if they just did that just to kind of make it seem like, ooh, there's something going on, which did to me. Or maybe he's just <laughs> wearing a magnetic glove. And uh, this this isn't a very integral piece um, of the actual film that's going on at all. Um, Robert Patton's going to have his English accent in here as well. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think... I think um, that kind of wraps it up. Um, 
you know, it's a, another thing that I really look forward to with Christopher Nolan films is that we always get resolve, right? Like, apart from the Dark Knight trilogy, and even then, they didn't really, like, intend to ever, like, doing a sequel, sequel, and sequel. They even turned down a fourth Batman movie. But Christopher Nolan isn't, like, a franchise guy. Like, he doesn't want... He's not out to make six of, of what, six movies of one, like, story, right? Like, he, he wants resolve. He wants a beginning, a middle, and an end for every single film, which I, I appreciate that. I understand that with Hollywood, that uh, sequels equal money. Um, but that he's not really about that. And I think that's super cool. And so um, I'm sure that we'll be left with questions as as to most of his films that we're always kind of wondering, you know, what happens is a little bit of like a cliffhanger. Um, but I, uh, I definitely think that our questions as far as like, is this true time travel? Are they just manipulating small moments of time just to save themselves or save other people? I think we're going to get the answers to that. So, um, and then the other part of this is, is, is going into theaters. I, I mean, honestly, just personally with the coronavirus pandemic, I think that, uh, movie theaters seem to be the most problematic, like, especially with all these movie theaters are doing like the lounge seats and stuff like that. Like I just, I don't know. I think it's bold. I think it's very bold that they put coming to theaters in this trailer because they might be told that they can't do that and that's out of their control. They don't get to make the decision on that. I hope it isn't theaters. I haven't gotten to see a movie in so long and I miss it so bad. I want to go to a movie really bad. And potentially this could be the first movie I see back in theaters again. So super excited for it. Um, looks great. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you think that there's other things I could be reviewing as well. Other movie trailers, not a lot of movies coming out, maybe video games, maybe music. Let me know. Thanks for watching.